Hey there, I just want to do a quick video on how to load film into a Konica Auto Reflex uh, SLR camera. So the Konica Auto Reflex series is a little bit different than most SLRs of the era uh, in a, just a few minor respects, and I'll just go over those now. Um, first of all, to open up the Konica, or at least the Auto Reflex series, you pull down on a latch right here, similar to the Nicromat. On many or most uh, cameras of the era, you would pull up on the, um, on the rewind um, uh, mechanism here, the rewind knob, uh, it would pop open the back, but on the Konica and the Nicromats, there's a latch down here on the side, which you just pull down with your fingernail, and it pops the back right open. Alright, so that is number one, uh, the major difference. Uh, secondly, you've got a this little cutout here on the, no, let's put this, this a little better, here we go. You've got this little cutout here on the um, on the bottom of the um, uh, of the camera in the back, the purpose of that is to actually it eliminates moving parts because on for example the Nicromat, even though you don't pull up on the rewind knob to open the camera, you do have to pull up on the rewind knob to insert the cartridge because you got to get this thing out of the way. Um, on the Konica, you don't have to get this thing out of the way because of this little divot here, this little um, uh, that little hole. So that is shaped such that I can insert the film into the camera quite easily uh, without having to move anything. So uh, it's quite clever, and it, it eliminates the necessity of, of, the, uh, of this thing moving up and down. All right, the next part is really neat, and that is the take-up spool. The take-up spool is actually a spool within a spool, because you see this black slotted spool here. I don't know how well this is going to come out on the video, but inside the black slotted spool is another spool which rotates. This black slotted spool is stationary. It doesn't move. Rather, the other one rotates. So that when I put the film leader inside one of these slits, um, the interior, the inside spool is going to grab it as it rotates and to make sure that you've got film advancing properly. Uh, it's actually quite clever and let me show you how that works right now. So we simply take our film leader, extend it, and we're going to insert it into one of these slots. It doesn't have to go very far. Make sure the shutter's been released. Now advance. And there we go. Bingo. Okay, film is now securely in the take-up spool. It's that simple. Ordinarily, um, when loading film, I tell people to make sure that this is nice and tight so that when you advance it after you close the back, you can see this thing rotate to make sure that you've got, um, you know, you've got the film advancing. On the Konica's, the, uh, the take-up spool is such that it's almost impossible not to load it properly. It's really a very clever system. So I can load it with absolute confidence, and I know that, oh, here we go, and there we go. And now it's loaded, working properly, and that is it. It's that simple. Okay, I hope you found this helpful. Have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.